So I pulled another one of Charlotte's books for y'all. This is the alphabet of very peculiar creatures. So this peculiar means strange. So instead of looking at all our different ones, we're going to look at really strange ones. So I can't wait. Maybe we'll see some mammals. A is for axolotl. Okay, let's see if I said axolotl. My apologies. It says axolotls are amphibians and they are related to frogs. And they come in all sorts of colors from black and gold and even pink with red eyes. They can regrow injured body parts, including limbs, their spine, and even parts of their brain. In an Aztec language, the atoll means water and oxal means dog, which means that this means water dog in Aztec. B is for Benturon. They are known as bear cats and they live in South Asia and they give off a strong smell that sometimes smells like buttered popcorn. That's this one. And C is for Karakal and they are wild cats found in Africa and parts of Asia and they can jump so far up in the air they can knock down 10 birds mid-flight. That's pretty crazy. D is for Draco. Um, they live in Southeast Asia and they're known as flying dragons. They have expendable ribs and wings that let them glide through the air. They can glide up to 30 feet and they eat mostly ants and termites. <coughs> e is for ermine. Ermines have brown coats in the summer and they turn white in the winter. That's this guy. And then F is for frigid bird. And they have, a, if they're a boy, a male bird, they have a red pouch under the neck so that will inflate like a balloon to impress the females. <coughs> and G is for Grimpotuthis. And a Grimpathusis is known as the Dumbo octopus because it looks a little bit like an elephant. They live in the very deepest parts of the ocean and they can change the color of their skin to match the surroundings, which y'all know means they camouflage. And the average size of a Grimpathusis is 8 to 12 inches. However, the biggest one ever recorded was almost 6 feet tall. So he would have been taller than me but they're usually about the size of, I guess, this book. They're usually about this size. But they can get really big. <clears throat> H is for Hyrak. These mammals might look a little bit like big rats, but they actually have the same ancestors as elephants. They have the similar teeth, toes, and skull. So that's this guy. And then I is for injury, and he's a type of lemur found only in Madagascar, and they make a wailing sound that you can hear up to a mile and a quarter away. J is for gerbawa, and they are found in North Africa and Asia, and they don't drink water. Instead, they get all their moisture from plants and bugs. And K is for Canchil, and they are known as the lesser mouse deer, and they are the smaller, smallest hoofed mammal, which is about the same size as a rabbit. <clears throat> so mammals that have hooves, like a horse or a cow or something like that, something with hard feet. L is for Lowland Street Tenric, and they are like a Hedgehog kind of hedgehog kind of creature found in Madagascar and they have yellow spines and they rub them together to make noise to communicate with each other. That's how they talk. M is for Mara, which is the largest rodent, and they are found in Argentina and they kinda look like a rabbit, but they are actually related to the guinea pig.
N is for Numbat. And they are bushy-tailed creatures only found in Australia. They have long tongues that stick out and they dig up and eat termites with them. And they can eat up to 20,000 termites a day. Holy cannoli. O is for Ocampi. And they are found in Central Africa. And they are shy creatures that have smelly feet and can lick their own ears. I would really like to see y'all try to lick your own ears. That's pretty funny. <coughs> uh, P is for pangolin and these are armored creatures that roll up into a ball to confuse their predators they are covered in large protective scales and Q is for quanka and they are small furry creatures related to a kangaroo and they are the same size as a cat and they always look like they're smiling R is for Rosiute Spoonbill. And they are bright pink birds developed spoons at the end of their beaks as they grow. And they use that to sift out little bits of food in the water. And S is for Saiga. And they are like antelopes with very strange noses. And they can run up to 50 miles an hour. That's how fast you can go on some of the roads. <coughs> T is for Tarsier, and Tarsiers are tiny primates found in Southeast Asia, and they can rotate their heads around the same way as owls, and they have very large eyes that are heavier than its brain. And Wakiri are monkeys that live in the Amazon and can leap over 60 feet from tree to tree. And the redder a male Yukiri's face is, the more attractive he is to female monkeys. And V is for the Venezuelan poodle moth. This furry little moth is very rare and some people don't believe it even exists. The W is for wolverine. The wolverines look like small bears and are super strong and very fierce. They produce a foul smell and can smell the same way a skunk does. X is for Xenopus. And a xenopus is a carnivorous frog that eats its own skin. They have slippery skin and black claws on their feet. And why is for the yeti crab? Yeti crabs have silky fur covering their claws and they live in the Pacific Ocean. And they grow food in the claw hairs. That's kind of gross. <coughs> And then Z is for Zebu. These creatures live a little bit like cows and they're only half as tall and they have a very large hump on their back. So there are ABCs of peculiar creatures. Remember, peculiar just means kind of strange. So I hope y'all liked that as much as I did. Bye guys.